Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day so far. We're going to be talking about some maths now. In fact, we're going to be talking about some fractions. Now, fractions comes from a word fracas, which means to break. So there's lots of different words that come from that word, but one of them is fracture. You can break an arm or fracture an arm or a fracture in the ground after an earthquake. But fraction means to break. You can break lots of things when we're talking about maths. You can break numbers into smaller parts, or you can break objects into smaller parts. You could break quantities of things into smaller parts. And so we're going to be talking about that. Now, up on the board here, I'm going to write a fraction. Now that fraction there is one half. Now you've probably seen that around, you've talked about that in other years as well, but that is a very common fraction. It is one half. Now it is one out of two parts. So the bottom number here, which is called the denominator, tells you how many parts the object or number has been split into. And that top number there tells you how many parts that you're actually referring to. So at the moment, we're talking about one half. So there we go, one half. Now, if we were talking about two halves, well, that would look like this, two halves. Now, you know that two halves obviously makes a whole. So we've got two out of a total of two parts two items out of two parts or two halves that equals one whole object if you have two halves of a pizza you've got a whole pizza which is handy because pizza is awesome so we've got other fractions that we can use which aren't necessarily split into two equal parts but they could be split into other parts they could be split into four equal parts so if we had an orange or an object or a number or anything and we split it into four equal parts, well then obviously it's called quarters. We've heard of that one before many times. And we could be referring to a certain number of those quarters. In this case, I've written down one quarter because we're talking about one object split into quarters and then we're referring to one of those quarters. Now we can show that as a picture as well. If I were to have a circle, now it's not quite a circle, but it's close enough. We can split that into four equal parts. Now, obviously they're not equal at the moment because my drawing is not very accurate. But when we're talking about fractions, they have to be equal parts. So let's just pretend that these are equal parts. One quarter, obviously we're just referring to one of those quarters. Now, if it were two quarters here, then we'd be referring to two of those quarters. Now, two of those quarters are coloured in now, which also leaves two quarters that are not coloured in. We can have thirds. If I were to split something into thirds, we could be talking about, well, one, two, or three of those thirds. We can actually go higher than that, but we'll talk about that later. So if we had two thirds, and I draw my circle, which is, again, not a great circle, splitting a circle into thirds is a little bit difficult, so bear with me. If we were to split it into thirds, close enough for thirds there, then two of those thirds would be one, two two out of a possible three equal parts. Now it doesn't always have to be circles that we're splitting into parts, it can be rectangles or other objects, or we could also be talking about numbers. So we could actually split our numbers into equal parts. So let me just clear that screen there. And if we had, say, the number 12, we had 12, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, lovely, well, apples. Let's call them apples. We have 12 of them. Then we can split them into a fraction. We could split them into quarters. 
So if we were to split them into quarters, then we'd be going, well, one, two, three, four. We've split them into four equal parts. Now, if we're talking about one of those parts, one quarter, then we'd be talking about one of these parts. One quarter of 12, well, it's three. If we were talking about two of those quarters, then we'd be talking about two of these equal parts. Two quarters of 12 is six, and so on. We can do it for three, or we could do it for four. In fact, four quarters, well, four quarters of 12 is 12. Hopefully you worked that one out already. So fractions are really, really important to have. We need to have an understanding of fractions. Our money uses fractions. Uh, in America, they actually use fractions a little bit more with their money because they call things uh, quarters. So they have a 25 cent coin. We don't have a 25 cent coin, but they have a quarter, which is worth 25 cents. Now, if we have some fractions, like one half, then that is actually exactly the same as two quarters. So let me just show you what I mean there. So if I have one half, well actually I'll just clear the screen there. If I have one half of this object here, I'll use my wonky circle again. If I split that into half and colour in half, then that is one half of a circle. If I wanted two quarters, two quarters, well then that means that I need to split my circle into four equal parts. And I've already got it in two equal parts. So if I just draw another line along here, it is now officially in four equal parts. Well, equal enough with my drawing, but it's now in four equal parts. And if we have a look, we notice that one, two, of those equal parts are actually coloured in. So one half is exactly the same as two quarters. I could split this again. I could say, right, well, they're not even at the moment, but if I do this, then we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we now have eighths. Split it into eight equal parts, it equals eighths. And if I count the number that's actually coloured in, well, I have one, two, three, four of those coloured in. So I now have four eighths. Now, four eighths is exactly the same as two quarters, is exactly the same as one half. Notice how, if I were to look at the numbers, one half compared to two quarters compared to four eighths, if I look at this bottom number here, 2, 4, 8, you notice it's doubling each time. And if I have a look at this top number, 1, 2, 4, you notice that's doubling each time as well. So if I said 2 times 2 equals 4, 1 times 2 equals 2. So 2 quarters is just one half, but those numbers have been multiplied by two. And the same goes for two times two equals four, and four times two equals eight. So these are what we call equivalent fractions. They're fractions that are worth exactly the same amount. Now I could split this again into halves again for each of those and that would give me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 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 and colored in well I could count them again one two three four five six seven eight and I have eight sixteenths now, some of you would have already worked that out because you went, oh, well, if we're just doubling it each time, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. 
So those are equivalent fractions. Now, in your books, you're looking at fractions. You're looking at shading the shapes given uh, to match the given unit fraction, sorry. You're also shading a fraction of a group to match the labels. You're looking at the numerator, which is the top number, the denominator, which is the bottom number, and the middle line, which is called a vinculum. Now, we're also looking at equivalent fractions and fractions on a number line, so counting by fractions. If you were to count by, say, a fraction of a whole each time, you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you're counting by halves each time, you'd start off with 0. I should have started with 0 before, actually. But you're going to start with 0, a half, 1, 1 and a half, 2, 2 and a half, and so on. You can count by quarters, 0, 1 quarter, 2 quarters, 3 quarters, 4 quarters, which is also a whole. So you've got 1. Then you've got one and a quarter, one and two quarters, one and three quarters, and then two, and so on. So we're looking at equivalent fractions, looking at putting fractions on a number line, and also just looking at fractions of a unit, of an object or of a number. Now feel free to watch this video back again if you want another recap of what fractions are. But as long as you remember that fractions are an object or a number that split into equal parts. You cannot have a true fraction if it's split into uneven or unequal parts. That's why my drawing up on the board there is not a true fraction because it's not 100% accurate, but it's just a representation of what the fraction would actually look like. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. We will talk about the maths in a day or so, but make sure you watch this and make sure that you focus on your work. All right, guys, I'll see you later.